Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be showing you some gameplay in the tier 10 German medium tank, the E50M. Now, this tank, um, when I started playing uh, the tank to get up to it, I was thinking, mm, I'm not too sure on how this tank is going to perform when I get it. Um, I hear a lot of people talking quite badly and quite negatively about it, uh, saying it's not very good and stuff like that. Um, however, since having it, I've had a stupid amount of crazy games, um, and this tank for me just performs very, very well indeed, um, and therefore I enjoy playing it a lot. So, um, and this game is going to demonstrate how well I play in this tank sometimes. So, as you can see, I'm platooned up with Nurple in the Strixvang 103B and platooned up also with Daz in his object 261. So I'm going to push up to this uh, position on Sand River over here just because you can use this uh, tank's good gun depression and amazing gun to dish out some damage and stuff like that. So just trying to keep an eye out on my surroundings, see if anything's going to be coming up behind me. You can see now Yag Tiger 435 meters away, not a problem with this gun straight through the lower plate. The point three accuracy on this gun is super super accurate and it does feel it. Another nice shot there into the AMX 5120. So now as you can see we, I can see there's going to be a few tanks pushing up to the right hand side of the map so I'm just going to try and poke my head over there and see what I could do to try and hold the tanks back a little bit. Uh, this Rheinmetall Panzer wagon is just constantly keeping us lit up so it's a bit dangerous we now spot a T125 trying to go for the high ground. We aim for his lower plate and unfortunately hit the strongest part of his armour, his upper plate, the beak, um, and we're never ever going to pen that. We aim for his side armour. Put one through there. Aim me again. You can see the rate of fire on this tank um, isn't that bad to be honest. Quite a low roll there, 335 damage done. Um, but compared to the, the uh, Russian mediums, um, we missed that shot there, shouldn't have auto aimed it. Um, but compared to the Russian mediums, um, the M48 pattern, um, stuff like that, the STB1, this this thing's um, damage per minute is just isn't that good compared to the other tanks. But it's still not bad. Um, and if you play carefully and use the gun to your advantage, as you can see, we're about to now again with the Yag Tiger straight through his upper plate. Um, you can see that it doesn't really matter and this gun is just absolutely fantastic. Can we sneak another shot in? Yes we can. Point three accuracy there. Doing an absolute dream. So as you can see now, I'm just going to push up for this AMX 50B. He's putting a lot of pressure on Nerpal and Daz who are trying to defend the base. So I push over and we also spot a Panzer 7. So the 50B come round. Snap a shot into him. Blow his tracks off. We're going to get the kill. Unfortunately, not the T54 picks it up. Now I switch to heat rounds because I know that the Panzer 7's around the corner. I know that this this AMX 5100 doesn't need a heat round, but as you can see there, the good uh, the good move on the accuracy, uh, sorry, good accuracy while on the move and stuff like that does a very nice job there, putting a shot into the side of 5100. As you can see there, he's pushing towards us at this point. I didn't really realise how close he actually was. Managed to put another shot into the Panzer 7, but now the 5100 is unloading into my side. He gets taken out, and now I think that's it. Let's have some revenge, shall we? So you put another shot in. Go for the ram. Unfortunately, we don't manage to take him out. Can we get the kill? No. Nope. Nerple comes in and swoops it away from us. So as you can see now, 13 penetrations. Aim for the M103. Of course we can hit it because point three accuracy and German guns. <laughs> but um, honestly this tank is absolutely fantastic. If you love medium tanks, if you love armour, if you love speed, if you love a good gun, this tank is honestly the perfect, perfect all-rounder for everything. It's got good gun, good manoeuvrability, good armour. Um, it's just a full ticket really. Um, so I do sh highly advise you to get one. You can see that we eat a big round in the side from the WZ-11-14 there. Can we take him out? Yes we can. So he is taken out of the game. Now we've got to be careful of this M103. Try and snipe his Coppola maybe. Unfortunately not. We missed that shot. 
So now we're just gonna push up here. Can we get a shot on him again? Oh, we, just, we just we just take out his gun. You can see now this T49 trying to rush across. I'm trying to get a good shot at him. Oh, we just hit his tracks again that time. It's very unfortunate. And there's that M103. Are we going to be able to get the kill? No, the gun misses again. <laughs> but you can't always have good RNG all the time, am I right? <laughs> so, but we do manage to take him out with our following up shot. Now you can see we are being torn apart by a T49 who has got our flank. I didn't. I underestimated his reload time here. Put a shot into him. He puts a shot into our side, leaving us on just over 10 hit points. So we've got to be very, very careful here. So as you can see now, it's just the artillery and a light tank left. We're up to 18 penetrations. As you can see now, aiming for the, the panzer wagon. Load a how explosive round because I know they don't have any armour. And this is where it all goes. Um, not very good. So can we get the shot off on him? Yes, we can. He barely misses us, allowing us to stay alive. Um, and now I've obviously got high, high explosive rounds loaded. So I'm aiming for the panzer wagon. I completely un uh, forgot that. The shell velocity on the APCR rounds is so good, so I have to lead more with a high explosive round. Um, we put one through his upper plate, 515 damage. Very nice shot there. 20 penetrations, 4 kills. GG. So from that game, guys, we managed to pick up a Ace Tanker badge. 7,000 damage, 2,000 assisted, 560 blocked for a total of 9,000 damage combined. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this replay of the E50M. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye.